Okay, we're about to come on. We're about to come on. I know y'all are joining us now, but we're about to come on, right? Let us know. Send us some love as to if you can hear us and see us. Just so, yeah, we have to, so we can be in. We need to come around. All right, we got to do a little bit of shifting, connecting, and shifting, okay. and so forth. Cause I got to make sure everybody is seeable. Do you want to pull that up or what? There we go. Say anything. Al, you need to. There we go. Al, there. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's Hello. Cute. Scoot up. All right. Okay. Scoot up. Yeah. yeah. Everybody's in. All right, we're on. Hello, everybody. This is Dr. Willie Jolly, and we're here for our Happily Married Mondays with the Jollies live on Facebook. Our married couples, I'm going to adjust that a little bit. It looks a little crazy to me. There we go. All right, there we go. There we go. And that's our Happily Married Monday with the Jollies. I still look crazy to me. I still look a little crazy. Hold on, folks. Technical difficulties. Little technical problems. There we go. There we go. There we go. Happy Married Monday with the Jollies. I apologize for the tardiness of getting started tonight. I had a interview with a lady named Tamika Montgomery, who I did a TV show with, and she has uh, her children are entrepreneurs, and they're like. 8, 10, and 12. Oh, wow. And she's teaching them to be entrepreneurs. So she has a whole podcast and program on how to be entrepreneurs. Wow. 8, 10, and 12. Uh, yeah, 8, 10, and 12. <laughs> so, so look, folks, we're glad you're here. We're glad you're joining us another Monday night. I'm going to change shares. You don't mind? Sit here. Uh, another Monday night because tonight we've got Two of our dearest friends who not only are they incredible people, but they are also great teachers, preachers, as well as he's one of the greatest trainers on the planet. Okay, let me make it clear. And we did a seminar. Jolly Way. Jolly Way. Jolly Way. The Jolly Way Marriage Maybe Seminar. Maybe 10 years ago. About 10 years ago. The Jolly Way. That was yeah. cute. About 10 years ago. The Jolly <laughs> Way Jolly Marriage Way. Seminar. And... We got to bring that back. Yeah, we got to bring that back. <laughs> and he did something in that seminar that I've never seen anybody do, which is to show people the personality types and why people have marriage problems often not realizing that they did not marry a person who was exactly like them, but someone completely different once they understood the personality types. And he is an expert at this. But you haven't were, told who they are. No, I'm getting around. I'm laying and I'm laying it up. So he's one of the greatest trainers. His name is Bishop Alfonso Way, Dr. Al Way. He got a bunch of names. Oh, my buddy Al. Right. And, uh, <laughs> and his beautiful bride, T Way, T E E. T and D and Al and Willie. So <laughs> I wanted to uh, bring them on. We did a marriage event two weeks ago. Two weeks yeah. ago, yeah. Uh, awesome. For the Shepherd's House Church. Yeah. And it was so powerful mm -hmm. what they did. What they did as a, I said, as a couple and as trainers. I said, they got to come on our Monday night show and share some of the things they do. So 
Al and T, welcome to Happily Married Thank Monday with Yes, it's great to see you. Uh, let me make a point to say, I, I sang in their wedding. Yes. I was one of the groomsmen in their yes, wedding. Absolutely. 37 years. Tonight will be 30 days from 30 for 37 years. Wow. Today wow. is the 18th of November. Yes. So on December 19th. 30 days, it'll be 37 years. 37 years. Oh, yes. and, and I'll be the glory. And, and, and we, Al and I met at American University where we used to sing in a gospel group together, wow. the Ambassadors for Christ. Mm -hmm. And so he's a great musician, he's a great pastor, he's a great teacher though. So welcome, and y'all have three children. Three? Mm -hmm. All right. yeah. Let me tell y'all something funny about them. <laughs> okay, let me tell y'all something funny about them. They got three children. Now, they had a son, uh, AJ, yes. mm -hmm. and then they had a daughter, Allison, right. yes. and they raised Allison and AJ, and they were in high school. He might have been in college. He was in college. He was in college, was in college. and they had another baby. <laughs> <laughs> After they got these kids all grown and gone, they had another baby. And we she just couldn't awesome. stop. I just she couldn't stay. Awesome. I just couldn't stay away from I her. understand. <laughs> and that's cool. Can we talk about the fact that the, that, that sex is an important part of our marriage? It and is. many people break up because they're not talking about or communicating. Yes. So, Al, you you know, I talk about you. I, you're one of the best tank trainers in the world. I Thank mean, you. literally. Thank you. Doctor. And when you did that program on personality types, it was mind-boggling because you 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 shared with people. I want you to identify your type when he gave them the list and then the husband and sometimes they were ma not matching or mixing it and you taught them how to do that. Talk about that. Uh, first, let me give you a little more insight. Where, where did y'all meet? How long y'all been married and all of the above? Great. I'm so glad to be here. Thank you, Dr. Jolly. Thank you so much, Dee. I'm excited to be a part of this and this is a wonderful platform for sharing what we have enjoyed these 30-something years with you guys being yes. our very, very best friends. Right. Uh, T, why don't you tell uh, the audience a little bit about who we are and how we met. Oh, so, okay, so I'm an AU grad and Willie's an AU grad, Al's an AU grad, these older people. <laughs> I'm a Howard grad by the way, so we, we got Howard in the house. So, I, singing, we met singing. Okay. And at AU, doing a, a something in the gospel choir, and mm -hmm. I think I was singing. Yeah. And, and he was playing the piano, yeah. and um, and everybody thought he was my teacher, but he wasn't. Mm. Right. Because he was teaching then. Okay. He was, and I was a student then. Okay, right. But it wasn't no hanky-panky, y'all. All right. So anyway, so we met, and we started dating. We met in January. We started dating in April. We got engaged in June and got married oh, in December. Same year? Yes. Wow. Was I mean, it was quick. Yeah. Because oh, we were well, singing, and Al said, I got this girl I want you to meet, Willie. <laughs> and the next thing I know, he talking about, I'm going to marry her. <laughs> but now, what made you, here's my last question. What, what made you know she was the one? It actually was just really prayer. Uh -huh. And um, just hearing and feeling like the Lord had provided an opportunity. And because I had been looking for a while, I was like, "You were involved with somebody else." I understand. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, just like most guys, <laughs> right. just like most guys. He you had know, another you little. Had a lot of acquaintances. He had another little lady but, he would bring to choir uh -oh, rehearsal, yeah. but uh -oh. but she wasn't. Here's what happened with Twit T. He said, "I found my best friend." That's it, and it was friendship, and that's what we teach: yes. is that um, you're looking for that chemistry, you're looking for friends that friendship. Friends first. Yes. Friends first. Friends first. Yes. If you can develop that friendship, and so I felt a. Um, such a connection with her uh, mm -hmm. around friendship and that's really been the joy of our marriage yep. these 30 something years yeah. it's just the friendship that yes. we initially found so right. we always tell couples just go back to basics basics and, right. and if you haven't become friends because not everybody's story is the same right you can friendship is a learned behavior you yes. can learn mm -hmm. how to become let's friends. talk about that a little bit uh, right. Right. what about people who are married and, not, and friends. not friends. We've gotten a lot of letters from people. As long as you're alive, you can always hit the reset button. Ha! There you go. That's why I love Al. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> he the gives you the, the, bottom, the bottom line is cut, just the cut, cut right to the chase. Yes. Is, is as long as you're alive, you can learn. And some of the things that I've been teaching, dealing with uh, personality types, are so fascinating because people don't even know um, really who they who they are. They are. Yeah. And Socrates yeah. always said, you know, self development begins with first know thyself. Mm. So marriage, we think marriage is so important. 
that we just want to tell your audience tonight that the more, and we're still learning, but the more you learn about yourself, mm -hmm. the more you learn about uh, who God made you to be, yes. um, you're able to better understand. And even one of the most important principles is love thy neighbor as thyself. Your spouse is your neighbor. Mm. And so if you can't even love your neighbor. If you can't love your neighbor without loving yourself, certainly self-esteem and uh, a good focus on who you are, that has a big impact uh, on being able to be a good house, uh, uh, to be a good house. And I, I just released this term. I says, you know, happy spouse equals happy house. Yes, you know? that's right. And, 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 and you want your home to be happy. You can't control all the variables right. uh, in society, but you can't control the workplace. You can't control everything that goes on mm -hmm. at church. You can't control what happens in the community, but you can have some influence. And I just want to just encourage our listeners that, you know, the more you learn about yourself and mm -hmm. there are all kinds of things that I'll share uh, in the next few minutes that will help people to identify. And, and your your bride uh, is, is just a... What, what do I think about when I think of tea? Perky, personable, just a ball of dynamite, okay? okay. And so Correct. That's Correct. really what it Correct. is. Correct. And, and, and a straight shooter, okay? She's a straight shooter. She's right. going to tell you really what it is. Right no, away. No, she's going to tell you the deal. So, so what attracted, how did you, you know? So, um, I always tell him he was, he, he was a rebound. Okay, okay. Oh, nobody yeah. ever. Yeah, I had, I had had a boyfriend, and it didn't work out. And I just, you know, but I, I want to thank. I want to say this: you got to know good when you see it. Yes, mm. yes. Some people don't know good because you've had a bad relationship, mm -hmm. and you have to know good when you see it. Sometimes we want to hold on to feelings and emotions. And then when it's time to move forward, you can't because you have a soul tie someplace else, mm. and you and you can't move on. So when you see good and you know, I mean, this is goodness. This was goodness in the form of flesh. Yes. Good heart, good everything. I mean, I would just be crazy to say, oh, I'm still stuck on somebody else. I'm just going <laughs> to let him just go by. I'm like, oh no, brain, you need to go this way. Right. So people need to understand. You need to give good a chance. Some people don't give good a chance. They mm. just kind of like, they'll say, okay, well, I'm still stuck here and I'm not over this, so let me mm. not. But anyway. The um, other thing too, T, is we attract who we are. Even if our personalities are different. Yes. If we have a good heart or good intentions, we tend to uh, attract, if we're primarily uh, making unwise choices and have an unwise um, model of decision making, we tend to attract to other people who make unwise decisions. Mm. So that's why loving yourself, taking care of yourself, having healthy choices, developing your own sense of wisdom, um, you will begin, I don't know how, why this happens, but you will begin to attract not only spouses, uh, but, but friends. So start with self. And if you do that, so you start you like, to attract. Minute, so what if you don't like yourself? I know Ooh. there are people out there who Ooh. saying, but I don't know what I'm doing. I keep getting these, these, the, the wrong, wrong people. We keep attracting life. the wrong so people. So I need to change myself. What in the world am I going Actually, to do? Actually, it's not really changing yourself. It's really unpacking yourself. Mm. You know, everybody has a strain of authenticity. They have to just become comfortable with it. Okay. So there are four... Give me an example. There's four personality types. Okay, let's talk about... I'm, folks, he's one of the best in the world I've ever heard do this. Before we do that, uh, you are not only a pastor... And a thought in graphic arts, mm -hmm. but one of the great graphic artists. But you're also now a trainer, speaker, and an author, and all of the above. Mm -hmm. He has broken this down in a way that I want y'all to get because some of you are struggling in your relationships when it's a simple little tweak. Go out. Right. There are four major behavioral preferences, um, and this is um, really grounded in all fields of psychology. The first one is the analytical. A person whose needs are met by quality and data. And the analytical personality is a, is a person uh, who um, craves a research, craves information, uh, who takes a little longer to make decisions, but the decisions are always rooted in research. Mm -hmm. um, the other personality style is an amiable. And the mm -hmm. amiables, um, their basic focus is harmony mm -hmm. and peace. They, they thrive in peaceful environments. They are friendly. They're outgoing. Uh, their major need is to be with people and to harmonize different personalities. Um, the other uh, um, 
powerful group are, is the expressives. The expressives, uh, they enjoy communicating, they're dynamic, they're results oriented, they're, they're, they love people. Um, that's me too. Yeah, and, and, and the one thing that's powerful is that of the four types, we all have all four within us. It just depends on the internal and external things that are going on. Mm. And then the fourth uh, is, the, uh, is the driver. The driver is the one who is re <laughs> results oriented, uh, totally focused on goal achievement, totally focused on uh, let's get it done. We'll, we'll, we'll clean up the relationships later. Uh, and they, they love people. Don't get me wrong. Right. But, but. They, but, but they, they will put results over relationship. The amiable will put relationships over results. And so, yeah. She's a driver. Right. And so, but yet, what I teach is that for those who... I think my niece, right. Rashida, is an amiable. All right. You don't judge, you wouldn't get her to judge any contest. Because she likes everybody. She likes everybody. <laughs> and don't, don't judge any contest. Right. All right? And, but the interesting thing, Dr. Jolly, is that we all have all four yes. of those root personalities within us. Now, one of the things that I teach in my Bible class is that uh, Jesus lived one life, but he had four biographers. Mm. And I think he was giving us a clue that each of the, the biographers of Christ, uh, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, they all saw Jesus from a different perspective. Okay. The same Christ, right. but some recorded miracles that the others didn't. Some right. started off with the genealogy. Some captured all his miracles. They, there was a lot of overlap, um, but there was never any contradiction. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. And so we need to also see ourselves in what's called a synoptic view, mm -hmm. that, that we have four basic ways to perceive life, to perceive ourselves, and just depending upon the environment, nature and nurture, it depends on which one is developed. Now, okay. your nature personality nature. is like a muscle. It's like a muscle. Yeah. If you don't develop a muscle, it's not there. So I have an amiable side, but my strong uh, gift is uh, my analytical side. Okay. You know, as a trainer and a speaker as yourself, right. I spend hours researching and developing my motivational speeches so that when I'm on the platform, I have a lot of research. Now, what's your wife? My wife is an expressive. Okay, that's what I thought. I thought right. she was she's a, a she, she's a life. She's full of life. She's oh, full she of energy. She is a dynamite. Just and she and dynamite. she's an awesome singer, awesome writer, unbelievable. Singer. And but her her gift uh, is balanced out. Now the expressives tend to be more extroverted. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I tend to be more introverted. introverted. But we, it's the balance that makes your marriage great. It's the balance. Now, if you're listening, you're probably saying, "Yeah, man, I married somebody who is just the opposite." That's really a great design. Because mm. if you harmonize, you won't fight. There you go. So D is a... Mm. What is D? Uh, she's a, first okay. of all, introvert. She's right. a, she's real... We can talk about that, but analytical yeah. and a driver. And she's okay. an analytical right. Right. and a driver. She's th do doing all the details. Everything has to be right. And then she's going to go get ahead. So I, I have to be careful to tell her, here's what I am planning or thinking of doing. Because by the time I have said it, it's She's a, done it. She, uh, like uh, like the other day, uh, making a hotel reservation. I, I think we should go in on that night. It was like all the hotels done. I said oh, I haven't chosen yet. I haven't confirmed. But I'm still trying to figure out who I'm gonna meet, who I'm gonna connect with, what day I'm going at. It's done, okay. And she's moving on to the next thing. Okay, now. Well, there's one other thing I'm gonna say yes, that's really please. powerful. The other thing about and these I four personalities, that nurture sites, and nature. Okay? okay, the four personality sites. You also can reveal uh, who your spouse or who you are by what you fear. Mm. Let's go through that because this is really revealing. The expressive fears not being heard. Mm. They want to. They'll call you two o'clock in the morning and say, "I just got one more thing I got to tell you." So the expressive, <laughs> when they are when they are in a relationship, they got to get it out. They got to have the last out. word. They got you got right. If out. you're married to an expressive, the worst thing you can do is go to bed and not let them. Finish saying what was on their mind. Wow. wow. You know, the, so, and the Bible said, don't let the sun go down on your wrath. Yeah. That's really a, a, a relevant scripture here because they they, they want to, they need to be heard because yeah. that's their need. Yeah. Now, one more thing. The interesting thing about the personality thing. model is that your what you excel in and what you fear are yin and yang. Mm. So an expressive loves to express themselves. Their fear is not being able to express themselves. Wow. So now the analytical, they love quality. What they fear or are embarrassed by our mistakes. Yes. Um, all right, right. <laughs> I yes. Right. right. They, they, so I've got to review the carbon copy. Right. You, you have to proofread it three times. Yes. Right. Because exactly. Because what you fear yes. is, or what you're embarrassed by, let me say it that way, what, you're, what you fear or embarrassed by yes. is a signal to the other side is your strength. Hmm. You want your strength to be known. And so the analytical fears not 
uh, being well grounded in research, oh, yes. not not being able to have the quote at, quoted accurately, yes. to to not have the hotel have the right information. You're embarrassed by things mm -hmm. just not being quality. It's like being incompetent, right? And not so incompetent. so so for example, when some when 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 an analytical wants to go buy a, an electronic device, oh, my they goodness. look through every catalog, they're on every website because it will take them five days to buy a TV where somebody else can just go out and buy a TV. And, and just express pick them is just going to say, would you hurry up and just pick the TV <laughs> and get it over with, So please. Some of the people having issues with their spouses, their mates, are having issues with a personality type more so than with a person. person yes. Is that correct? In part, because okay. we can relate to people by their behavior, but behavior can be modified. Okay, and All so right. it's dangerous to label. I'm very careful when I teach this. I tell people to don't go into labeling excessively. The labels are just so we can understand. Well, it's about understanding. Exactly. exactly. All right. So rather than labeling, is about being conscious of. I'm conscious now because I know D's a driver and an analytic. Mm -hmm. That I am conscious of the fact that the details have to be a certain way, and I I I can't lump her there, but I know. That's her preference. That's her preference. So That's let me preference. back off. The key word is preference. Yes. It's not that an analytical can't be an expressive. It's not that T can't be an analytical. Mm -hmm. There are times when she's very analytical and she's a driver and she's all for it one time sometimes and so am I. But it's just knowing your preference. It's like driving a car knowing that you're in park versus reverse or forward. Mm -hmm. wow. It's just knowing where you are. I think about all the people we have had conversations with who've gotten in big arguments because somebody didn't listen to them. Or didn't follow through, and they get in a big arm, and they feel disrespected. Or they now, didn't respond the way they thought. Or they, they didn't should. respond, exactly, exactly. and then it's really more their personality, that type. It's their behavioral preference. Preference. It's their that, preference because personalities can change and mature over time. It's their behavioral it's preference. preference, exactly. So That's now, why he's a great trainer. You see how he uses the word very clearly, preference, right. rather than type. Because we all have the capacity to to be at each other's quadrant. And, wow. and it's just a matter of uh, us uh, just switching gears. Before we get too far, because mm -hmm. um, some people are in and out on these on this show and we're listening. Where do people reach you? Because we want, do y'all do marriage counseling or do you Absolutely. do seminars? Or where do people call you and say? They call us at 202-285-7309 uh, or they can call me directly at 202 Two nine seven one five five two. What's your website? Oh, what's your web? Got an uh, email website? Yeah, we're we're, we're rebuilt. We're rebuilding our website, but they can call T at 202 285 7309. 202 285 7309. Ah, all right, zero nine. Because y'all and y'all have a, 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 um, a number of business units as well as a church. If you're ever in Washington D.C. and you want a great experience go to uh, faith assembly of christ yes on georgia avenue 4821 4821 georgia, georgia avenue, avenue right northwest northwest right across from industrial bank of washington. Uh, washington just five minutes from you here there's five right. minutes from us <laughs> and they have great uh, worship and great experience okay let's go back to what you see what are some of the things y'all see as y'all can you know counsel or do these insights of people with that uh, are really help having people who struggle in their marriage. What do you see over and over again? I'm going to start off and give it to you. Uh, people don't meet each other's needs often enough. Okay. Mm. So one of the things that um, Tia and I talk about is as we learn about our behavioral preferences, um, take that information and get a PhD in your spouse. Wow. Nobody should know Ooh. more. Nobody should know more about your spouse than you. That's and so that means not only just, you know, her favorite colors and her favorite cuisine, but her psychology. And so if I know that she's an expressive, I always try to make sure I'm a great listener. She knows I'm an analytical. She always tries to give me time. Now, analyticals are slower in making decisions. Yes. Right. So she'll need, a, I, she'll need a response right away, but I've already kind of debriefed her. She's got the download. She knows that. And I had to learn that. See, that's crazy. I had See, that's to adjust and, and your my behavior. Learn. Right. So when you're learning about somebody's who they are, you have to adjust. It's not all about you having your way once somebody mm -hmm. finds out about you. Okay, but you know how I am. So, you know, you have to deal with that. No, you still have to make the adjustment. Make the adjustment. Oh, this is good stuff. For somebody else. So he's an analytical. Ooh, this so to now, meet their needs. To, so now I have to say, okay, I already know. Now I'm, ready, I'm like D. I'm going to Zoom. I'm going to have the, the 
all the stuff done. But I surprise you sometimes. Sometimes I make it to some quick things. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> right? But she already knows the, 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 the default position, D, uh, is that I may need more time. Need more time. Because yes. in order to meet my need for quality, yes. it may yes. take longer. Yes. And thank yes. God, yes. because sometimes either the husband or wife may make a decision that's quick right. and fast, but may not be the best decision be for, the, the, best. for the relationship yes. or for the family. Okay. And, and so there, there, there's a beauty to that. And, yeah. and, I, and I think T says it right that, you know, she's met my need. And I've met her need. Yep. And in doing that, we almost become a hybrid of each other. Yeah. Yep. Um, well, I, 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 two things I want to pull out here that was profound, I think. One is get a PhD in your spouse. Yes. Okay. We've had so many people we've talked to, couples, who really don't know their spouse intimately. No, Not yes. other than sexually, yeah. they might know them intimately, but no the intellectually. The intellectually, emotionally. Yeah. So, what D, are their needs? So, study. PhD in your spouse intellectually. D studies me. D yeah. studies me, and she tells people, I study him. I have to. And I study her. Yes. I know her personality types. I know her tweaks. I know her, her, her I can sometimes think where she's going to be if, if she had. Really, really, we do the same thing. We there do the go. same so thing. So, that's one thing that's mm -hmm. profound. And, second thing, what T said, she adjusted. Gotta make the you adjustment. must make the adjustment. To be fit Folks, and adaptable. You must be fit and adaptable. Well, adjust. That's First Corinthians 9, 19 through 27. I need to live adaptable. by that. Right. Yes. Right. So, okay. Uh, so those are one of the, the things is uh, uh, so be open to supply the needs of your spouse. What else? Willie, I want to, just because there are four, we yeah, covered the analytical and the expressive. Let's talk for a minute about the driver and the amiable. Okay. The driver is driven by results, achievement. Okay. But what do they fear? What are they embarrassed by? The driver or the achiever is embarrassed by not getting the task done. Mm. Yes. They're, they fear being criticized for not being able Excellent. to get it. Right. Right. So what you fear is very revealing about who God made you to be. Mm. You know, David said, I sought the Lord, he delivered me from all my fears. And here we see a, a picture of a man who's pretty much fearless uh, until, you know, people start chasing him all over Israel. But, but the bottom line, so the driver fears not being able to accomplish something. They fear, a driver's in a bad mood when they come home and they didn't get anything done that they wanted to get done on their thing to be list. Wow. And then last, the amiable, what do they fear? They fear conflict. Mm. An amiable often will quit their job or ask to be reassigned if the office is is totally toxic and totally dysfunctional. Mm. And that's why sometimes people will sleep in di different bedrooms because you might be married to an amiable and they would rather not just discuss it. You say, let's have a conversation. But an amiable, if they if they sense that it's going to be confrontation, mm -hmm. so that's not their particular strength. So that goes back to if you're married to an amiable, then you must employ the four F's that we teach in the book. Fair, frank. Being friendly, frank, fair, and focused on a positive result. If yes. you start having conflict, the amiable will, will retreat. So be friendly. Be frank. This is Also, how tone of voice and tone volume of voice. voice. That's right. Tone right. of voice. Well, now, when I get excited, when I get excited. You get I, loud. Yeah, yeah, I get loud. <laughs> and I don't know. And so I, I, I've got a thermostat right here. She says, okay, I can hear you. And so that's very helpful. <laughs> All right, great. Because she's, so you have to be gentle and constantly remind your spouse, okay, that's right, that's right. I do get excited. And also, honesty. Right. Honesty. So now it's not that the amiable can't deal with conflict. In fact, they're very good at dealing with conflict because they're the peacemakers in the home. Right. They're the peacemakers in the office. But the powerful thing about the amiables, they bring such a, a, a positive, pleasant attitude and they would rather not confront. An amiable would ask versus tell. Wow. A driver will tell versus ask. Okay. So their, their level of assertiveness is on two different mm -hmm. polarities. Wow. Drivers... And expressive, tell people what they want. Wow. Analyticals and amiables ask for what they want. Wow. For example, you're at the dinner table at the restaurant. The driver will say, "Yo, ketchup, pepper, <laughs> down this way." And the amiable analytic, they're so polite. Um, would you please uh, pass so, the and, 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 and believe it or not, that that preference impacts relationships because people then thought to have conflict or having a, a, is a is a rubbing 
I, I, the conflict not, is not because they don't love each other. They no. don't adore each other. The conflict is that they don't know who they are. Wow. wow. This is big stuff, Damn. folks. I hope y'all pass. Here's what I want everybody to do who's watching this tonight. I want you to forward this. I want you to like it. I want you to share it. Share it with a comment. You got to watch this. Our way is on and T-Way are on with Dr. Willie Jolly and D. Jolly. And this is profound information to help your relationship. Because we want to save, all of us have a have a heart for saving marriages. Yes. We want to save a million marriages. Y'all know we wrote this book, Make Love, Make Money, Make It Last. And if you don't have the book or the CD, uh, you can get that at jollymarriage.com. Get the book and the live CD, which you will love. But we want to save a million marriages and enhance a million more. They've been doing this for years. They've been doing this for having marriage seminars at their church. When you did the marriage seminar that we spoke at, one of the things Al, I thought you and T did was that, which I thought was profound, you, you, you broke the couples up and found out what they were mm -hmm. so that then you could reintroduce them. Mm -hmm. yes. to, am I right? Didn't you yeah. do something like yeah. that? Some yeah. sort of we exercise. broke them up into subgroups yeah. and then we talked about their love language. We talked about um, ice cream moments. T, why don't you talk about ice cream moments and just how we need to date each other more. When we're out there and we're flirting and we're trying to catch somebody's eye, we got our cologne on, we shave, <laughs> and then the minute we get married, then we then they go to slob. The slob comes out. Right? On both ends. Date on both mate. ends. The flip, the flip flop comes oh, out. Right. The, flip flop, the flip flop, the bathrobe, you know. So I tell the men, I says, you gotta look good, smell good. Yes. And if you want to be good. And, Come on. But T, talk a little bit about uh, yeah. the ice cream moments and dates. Date day. Well, date day. So Or date as, nights. Well, as you get older, you have date days. <laughs> <laughs> but you got to date your spouse. Because you're sleepy at night. <laughs> but you got to date your spouse. But yeah. you got to date. Yes. I mean, it is so important that um, we keep that, even among the kids, you know, even if you have kids and, you know, you're raising kids, take that opportunity, take that moment, take that time to step away from the bill paying, yep. step away from That's right. That's right. the conflict, step away from everything and begin to go back and, and renew some stuff between you guys. And it makes it, man, it makes it so sweet. Wow. And, learn, and learn how to laugh at your differences. Uh -huh. One thing that's healthy is, that is it's good to learn how to laugh at yourself. Yes. Mm -hmm. when, and guess what? You don't have to be perfect to be wonderful. Come on. You don't have to have everything together. Yeah. You know, we, we teach that you don't, Compete with your spouse, you complete your yes. spouse. Come on now. Yes. Woo, they, that'll this preach, is good stuff. This will preach. preach. This is right. good stuff. And that's why I wanted Al and T Way. They were so profound and powerful at the Shepherd's House. I said, I got to have them because not only are they pastors and Christians and well versed in Bible scripture, they could, he, could, he could quote just about the whole Bible, but he's also able to also take the fact that. You got some real life situations. Yes. And that you've got to deal with things like, let's talk about sex. Let's Hold on, let's talk about it. Because you ain't got, you, he the first one told me the scripture, the bed is undefiled. <laughs> <laughs> Marriage is honorable. Honorable. You, you know, sex mm -hmm. is just really the icing on the cake. Yes. Because it's the friendship that builds to the intimacy, yes. the intimacy builds to the conversation, and back to more intimacy. And then after that, you know, it's just such an important part of expressing our love for each other. Yes. But it's not just the sexual uh, contact. It's the communication. Yes. It's the touching. In many cases, there are some real differences. Husbands and wives have to also learn how to love. Yeah. And also not to be selfish in love. Mm. To not be narcissistic in love. That it's not about you. It's about the other person. Okay. And, and so that tenderness, as we were teaching, you know, good intimacy on Thursday begins on Monday. Come on. <laughs> right? You got to start working and, on it and, early. And, 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 good we have, and we have love contests. Oh, wow. Okay. Who loves who more? Who loves? He is not going to out love. All right. Now. <laughs> All and so little right. gifts, I'm go, I'm cards. Going That's right. We give out cards. And so we yes. have a little a little friendly love contest. And so yes. we just we just always, we just believe that fun and friendship are what keeps your marriage from, from becoming too spooky. Okay. You know, even as pastors, people who are in church, they're too spooky. Yeah. You know, they <laughs> act like, you know, intimacy they can't is have something. Any fun, right. right. And they act like right. intimacy and fun is something that God didn't create. You know, it's it, the word says that the joy of the Lord is your strength. Yeah. You know, so joy is a word that can be 
an ally and coupled with fun. And so when you have joy, it makes up, you're not going to agree with everything with your spouse. You're not simply going to do it because your fingerprints are different. Your retina scan is different. Your outlook, your upbringing, everything is different and, and accept it. But enjoy the difference because it's in the difference. That's what makes things great. And, and then when, when we talk about uh, intimacy in the bedroom, uh, it begins with intimacy in the kitchen. Mm. You know, touching. Okay. Our wives are are, are, are are precious. They're beautiful. They should be respected. They're not trophies. Mm. You know, they they are an extension of who we are. Right. And and, and when that happens, you know, um, you know, we have to conversate. You know, especially for men. Right. The right. men who are listening, we have to learn how to conversate. We have to learn how to listen. We have to learn how to talk about different things and be intelligent about talking. Because you know, women are excited about what they hear. Uh -huh. So if you're a good conversationalist, you're going to automatically up your game in your sex life. Uh-oh. Right? You're going to you, you up your game. Hello. You're going to up your game. Hello. And, and you got, and, and you got to talk. I, you, you, I don't want to get people in a box, but you can't just talk about politics or sports. You got to be, be well-rounded and talk about a lot of things because the talk definitely impacts the walk. Come on now. <laughs> now, gentlemen, you got to talk to your wives. You well, remember when we were in school, we used to talk about if you had some good rap. That's remember, right. Even back then, in junior high, high school. That's right. You know, come on, you got to have some good lines. Your rap is what's going to get you some That's action, right. you know? That actually was psychologically true. That's right. It's the rap. Our wives <laughs> are stimulated by what they hear, and uh -huh. we're stimulated by what we hear, but also mostly by what we see. Yeah, yeah, we see. So women, y'all, you know, take the curls out your head. Yeah. You know, That's right. Take the hanky chef off. I messed up, didn't I? Well, that's the truth. It's the truth. It's the truth. And my wife is one that talks about that often. She says that she gets up and goes to yoga every morning, 5.30. And is at yoga at 6 to 7 or 7.30. Then goes to the gym. Because she says, I want to make sure I look good for you. Yes. Because that D, is... D, you done good. Yes. <laughs> I love it. So, I'm glad you're taking care of my buddy. Oh, she is taking care of me. Now, a couple other things we want to say to everybody. Uh, one is that we want to get from you your questions, your ideas, your thoughts, and send them uh, emails. If you have uh, emails for uh, Alan T, send them to us. We'll forward them to them. And if you want to be in touch with them, we'll give our email as well. Oh, okay. it's Motivate America at Comcast.net. Okay, Motivate, Motivate America, America at, at Comcast.net. Or T-Way, T-E-E-W-A-Y at Comcast.net. Okay, so do that. Send them an email. But they're doing marriage seminars. You would do them all over the country now. Y'all are in London. Uh, yeah, we, we've wow. doing, we, we're doing, you know, we're doing... Leadership. We're doing team building, a lot of team building, leadership, um, Marriage marketplace. We're doing master classes now in leadership oh, wow. for churches and nonprofits to uh, bring a corporate style leadership to the nonprofit world and to the mm -hmm. faith based community. And so and that that's going real well. And he's one of the best. You know, I don't give out uh, uh, accolades easily or uh, without any uh, justification. This is guy is one of the most brilliant uh, thinkers as well as trainers. So I highly recommend that you uh, contact him. And you contact them for your marriage seminars. Bring them in, and they will help your marriage. My twenty dollars is in the mail. All right. <laughs> All right. Now, what is a T? Uh, you did a marriage event at the seminar with the at the church Shepherd's House, just for women. Just for women. What were some of the things one you said to them, and two, what are the com what are the issues you see coming up over and over and over again? So I do Wife for Life Ministries. Mm, and, wife for Life. And and the number four is She's in brilliant. the number four is in Wife for Life because you have to be a wife in every season. Mm. You have to be a wife in spring, summer, winter, fall. You just can't be a wife when things are going good. You gotta be a wife, you know, uh, winter symbolizes maybe some challenges. You know, spring symbolizes, oh, everything is going on. We having sex three, four times a week. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> then, so you have to be that wife, right? You have to be that wife, and and we also talked about being that rib. Mm. So what does the rib do? The rib, um, first of all, it gives we give our husband shape and form because mm. if you don't have a rib, you're sunken in, right? So we give them shape, we give them form, we support them. Rib yes. support, right. your rib case support. 
What else does a rib do? It protects all of his vital organs. Mm. So the Bible says in, in, in Proverbs 31 that his heart does safely trust in him. Mm. So he should be able to trust us. Yes. Um, when trust is broken in a relationship, we already know that relationship is, mm. is, is literally on life support. So we have to always make sure that, um, that we can trust one another, that he can safely, that he can come home and tell us things. Um, I, we always talk about, uh, we talked about it at the, at the marriage um, retreat. One of the questions was somebody having a relationship at work. It's oh, oh, uh, 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 work wife. Work, work, work wife. Yeah, yeah. With that emotional thing, because mm -hmm. it's about work having wife, somebody to talk to, and basically, what's happening, what really is happening, is somebody nothing physical happening. Just nothing that. physical happening. At least not at first. Right. It's who they're. I, I'm able to talk to you. I'm able to feel comfortable. They're willing to listen. They validate yes. that I have something. And to they say. value, and that and creates I, an they, emotional yes. bond. That, yes. that creates an emotional and that, bond. And that emotional bond is yes. like cigarette smoke. It gets on you. You don't know how to get it off. Yes. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yes. Yeah, so it, it creates that emotional Ooh, bond. So that's good. So we're always telling t telling women to always be available. You know, be available as much as you possibly can. And, and th there are times when you have to be available when you don't want to be available. And you know, T, yeah. you, you can inoculate yourself if you're heavily involved with people at work. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, mistrust is a bad thing. But when you're meeting the needs of your spouse, you're less insecure yes. about somebody else meeting their needs yes. because their love tank is full. Everybody's got a love tank. Everybody's got a love tank. And if that love tank is low, and somebody else is offering some gas. Right. <laughs> That's a great They game. might be offering something else that rounds with gas. That's right. Yes, sir. So you so know that's true. You better put some gas in. That's right. Or else some gas. Keep love tank high. <laughs> I'm that feeling that. making sure she is taken care of. Right. You better uh, take care of yeah. 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 right. Don't leave her right. without it. All right. So. You know, that's why I want y'all to hear this and learn from these couples. Because we got so many couples who are struggling. 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 Fill up that love tank. Fill up, fill fill up, up that love tank. tank. Yeah, you know, and not right. just fill it overflow. Let it overflow. Let it overflow. Right. And, 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 talk it. Right. And, and, and talk about it. That's the other thing. Right. Dee, is, Dee has been, now the pastor pulled her aside at the worship on Sunday morning. Mm -hmm. He said, we have never had a person so honest about the sexual challenges yes. that people go through. Yes. And so many women came up to me and said, I needed to hear that. Yes. Yeah. D is a straight, you know, straight D is shooter. A, yeah. a, T is a straight shooter. Yeah. D is a straight shooter. Yeah. On Isn't it funny how wild the D and T? That's, That's right. crazy. That's we crazy. Married. Now, D, you talked about the fact that, that, that there will be issues when uh, maybe as you get older or as and so by the time you reach age 40, 40 and changes. over, your body is changing, changing. the hormones are changing. Yes, they are. And getting Losing to that the estrogen. point of the mm -hmm. lack of communication that you might not want to say to your mate, you know, I am really interested in you. Yes, right. he's, all, he's all aroused. And then you are hesitant because the intimacy hurts, the intercourse hurts. Yes. The intercourse hurts, yes. not because you don't want to exactly. have Close intimacy and have sex exactly. with him, but your vaginal area is dry. Right, yeah. right. your That's body has just changed. Right. Right. It's changed. So there, there are options, and, and I had gone to my gynecologist, and I had seen, she has, she always has something, Dr. Musson did. She's got KY jelly stuff. I was like, why do you have KY jelly? Most women will not even talk to their Doctors about, about it. I am having a a dry yeah. vaginal. But see, not only is that devastating for the wife, it's devastating for the man because yeah. he doesn't know what's going on. He doesn't know what's going on. on. And, then, and then if he's and, and then all of us have some insecurities. Yeah. Even if they're small, you know, that'll begin yes. to play in his mind, right. and then it'll begin to put some distance. Right. And it's just and it's nobody's fault. Right. You know. Right. You know. But it makes him feel that I does, she doesn't want me. She She's pushing me away. Me. Right. She doesn't want. And me. then right. once they stop talking and stop being intimate, 
then it just like a snowball rolling exactly. down the hill. Exactly. So we've had couples tell us, I haven't had sex in two years. Yeah. Another one told me I haven't had sex in four more. years. Yeah. Another one told me I haven't had sex in six years. Jesus. And so uh, it, it's very challenging because they didn't communicate they didn't somewhere communicate. along the line. And, it just and there's got also it. a lack of honesty yeah. and to accept reality and that there are other ways one of the, uh, the things that we enjoy is that we're ministering to couples all over the world, and Ages. and we and they're at different stages. And we've had couples come up to us and say, "Thank you for how you were so polite and so wise, and how you dealt with some issues." And we'll yeah. tell them there are other options. If that uh, the Bible says, you know, is if there's a season where for health reasons or any other reasons that you can't um, come together mm -hmm. that way, you can touch, you can cuddle, yes. you can go to the movies. I mean, it's just all kinds of things. Touch. But you have to be able to talk about exactly, it. Exactly, exactly, exactly. exactly. Yeah, so I just want to always know that, yes. and, and some of this I think they know, but we just need to remind them yes. that there's other ways to express, but touch is so critical. All right, so uh, we got about... Uh, touch and talk. Uh, only about oh, 10 I like that, D. I like touch that. And talk. Touch and, and talk. Touch and talk. I said touch, talk, and tease. Yeah, she's Oh, we got to copyright talk. that. We got to copyright <laughs> that. We got to copyright that. <laughs> Positively <laughs> tease. The three T's. And, yeah. Now, uh, uh Last ten minutes, we want to make sure that we get as much. We want to. We want to get all the butter from the duck, as we say, uh, from YouTube, because y'all are so powerful. Uh, what are some of the other major things that you see in in your marriage and working with couples, and about style, about personality, about communicating? Y'all have such a great communication because. Uh, you have three children of the different ages. Mm -hmm. They have very, very different personalities. Yes. And so how do you handle the, all of the, the challenges with children, with family, with, with uh, careers? I mean, there's a lot going on. Ooh. So it's definitely trial and error. Yeah. And that's what people need to understand. I don't think anybody comes with a manual like, okay, so when this happens, I'm going to do this. Yeah. And when this happens, I'm going to do this. And so we're here today because... We have, we've had a lot of trial and error, and we found out what worked and what didn't work. That's well said. And so, and when we found out that it did work. We keep doing it. We keep doing it, and we begin <laughs> to share with others that, you know what, it, this didn't work. You know, um, you know, children will, will grow up, and they'll yeah. live their own lives, and we should let them live their lives. Yeah. And just let them go and live their lives, and we as parents need to go and live our lives now that, you know, because you guys are empty nesters now. Right. So you all are in that next season of just fun. I think we all have a list yeah. now yeah. with time, what works and what doesn't work. Yeah. And that'll be different for each child. Just like we have yes. to love each child where yes. they are, yes. we also have to love each person or each spouse where they are in that season. Yes. Right. And and so what I want to add to what T yeah. said, which was fantastic, is um, I also find that become a lifelong learner. Mm. I'm still studying T. Yeah. Mm. And I've changed. Okay. So and that's what we I'm need to on tell my each third other PhD. Too. I'm on my yeah, third yeah. PhD. Yeah, so, so the, the, the 20 year old that he married. <laughs> oh, man, I, I hung that on the wall. I, I'm it, on my it, third it, PhD. It's I now gotta, a 57 year old woman right. who has different needs. Right. So, so we always have to, we can't get stuck. So we always have to be willing to, to go through those seasons with each other. Yep. And, and once you find, oh, here's my pet peeve. Uh oh, really like this. Uh oh. So once you find out somebody wants or likes something, don't withhold it. Yeah. Like once you find out that somebody needs or wants something, you know, you you're gonna once again that word adjust. You're gonna have to adjust to feel that and love to them and to give it to flow. them. <laughs> give it to give it to them. Don't say well, you feel know what, uh, well, you know, feel that love I, I, that's not what I want to do, or that's not what I like to do, or that's not. No, it's not. Look, we get married not to be selfish. We get married to be selfless. Mm. and to give to each other. Yes. So once you find out that I, I, okay, so when I got married, I'd like vanilla. Okay, well, I don't like vanilla anymore. I've moved on to strawberry. Mm. But you keep buying me vanilla. Now, I've told you three times that I'm <laughs> strawberry. <laughs> so we have to adjust. We get stuck. We, get we, stuck. we do get stuck. We, especially, and and um, and what I, I told the um, um, the couples that sometimes, and the ladies anyway, so we're going we're gonna, to, I'm going to move on with this is that we have to listen, we have to listen to understand and not listen to reply. Right, right. So we're listening, but, and as you all know, the, the hearing, my wonderful, uh, for my wonderful Dr. Al, hearing is, uh, uh, hearing is um, biological, biological and listening. listening is behavioral. Wow. 
So that's powerful. Hearing is, that is, is powerful. biological. Listening, I have to, I have to be taught to listen. It's behavioral. I have to be trained to listen because I'm listening to reply. That was like a, ooh, I was horrible at that. Well, it hurt very, very bad. Wow. I'm listening to reply. Like, like, oh, because I'm going to come back. And mostly for women, I'm going to come back with a big comeback. Right. And, I'm and you're already planning to come back before, right, already... before they even said <laughs> what they had to say. You're not, really come back. So you're not really listening. You're not listening. No. Wow. I'm, I'm, waiting, I'm waiting for the comeback. Hearing just, is I'm biological. Waiting. Listening is behavioral. behavioral. Yes. Wow. Look, because once something is behavioral, the sanctity of that is you know that it can change. Yes. yes. Because mm. behaviors can be learned and it unlearned. It can be learned and unlearned. Right. Wow. And most fears, most fears can be unlearned or at least mitigated. Wow. So a, a, a lot of times um, we have to also deal with the issue of capacity. Wow. You know, a person has come to a medical procedure. Mm. They don't have the capacity to do maybe something, as T would say, that they want or need. So you also need to recognize your marriage is not in a vacuum. You're not going to get all your needs met through your spouse. Mm. Let's be honest and face it. So if, you, if you if you want to go play pool and your wife hates pool, you've got other collegial friends or associates that you can go play pool with. You know, um, you may not all want to go do a running or jogging, go to the gym. So what I believe the reality is find some core things that you can do together. together. But I actually am now teaching that people need to spend time with some hobbies alone. So that when they come back together, they're fresh and they haven't suffocated their spouse. Because mm. spouse suffocation is what leads to boredom, what leads to divorce. If you suffocate your spouse, God doesn't it's suffocate spouse us. Suffocation. Spouse suffocation. You have to have that balance. Wow. Right? It's like, it, it's, it's like a person being in a tight quarters. And there's a word for that. They're claustrophobic, right? Right, right? right? You have to give people space because even yeah. though you're married right. you still have space and people are still accountable for their own the story and acts of ananias and sapphira we know the story they both lied um, to the holy spirit uh, mm -hmm. about what they had given and um, neither one of them died until they told a lie so the one spouse comes in and and, and, and Ananias says, yeah, we gave such and such. And then, you know, the Lord, you know, pronounced judgment. You know, it's kind of a harsh story. But my point is, is that if she had come and tell the truth, she would have lived. Mm. And so God, yes, he sees us as a single unit, but yet we still are accountable to God. And the other thing that I think is most important thing that we teach is put God first. Right, 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 right. Put God ahead of your spouse, actually. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, we say it's a, it's a, a triangle. We yes. talk about in the book that, that marriage triangle. is a triangle. Yes. So chapter number two, make God an equal part of your marriage. But then we tell in reality, he's the owner of the marriage. He's because the, marriage. The, yeah. the triangle has three corners, 33, 33, 34. That makes 100%. I love that. Willie D. God. Everything is running through the filter of God. And he's the majority owner right. of our marriage. And as we get closer to God the on that triangle. Yep. The husband and wife get closer Close to each together. other. There you go. It goes right. up straight. Because I tell you, Dr. Jolly, so many spouses have, when they get married, they were going to church when they were single, and now that they are in, uh, married, they now can't serve God. Right. They can't maybe still give to that community uh, faith-based organization. They can't still volunteer. And I think that's a horrible mistake. I think that, that the key to marriage the is the balance. The balance. you got to have balance. Yes, you want to be lovey-dovey and you want to be all over each other. But I've seen a lot of those marriages, they don't last. Mm -hmm. Because they haven't. And find something good to do in the community. So they, get to, they need to grow together. They need to yes. grow so together. That's right. Because together. remember we said that you gotta you got to know yourself, but you also have to develop yourself. Yes. And the other thing that I think is so powerful, two halves don't make a whole. Two holes make a whole. Mm. Two holes. You, you, we don't. Um, we don't let people in our church say you married the better half. No. Mm. Bo, God says I am fearfully and wonderfully made, and so we don't want. We don't want to see codependency in marriage, mm -hmm. right? We want to see two strong. Uh, uh, T is strong, healthy, independent. I'm strong, healthy, and independent, and that makes us stronger. Because when when, the, when there's a project or when there's something that needs to happen, she gives me up to whatever I need to do, whether it's missions work, whether it's uh, uh, corporate training or whatever. And when she needs to travel and do things, I give her into her mission so she can fully pour herself. So there's somebody out there uh, that has married their job, married their career, mm -hmm. and, their, and their wife or husband is just a chick on the side. Mm -hmm. Don't make your spouse a husband 
Wow. <laughs> or a thing on the side. You know, fully wow. fully develop yourself. And, and yeah, you can chew gum and walk at the same, same time. Wow. You got to be able to develop that while you're growing. T and I have learned that she has her career. I have my career. We have a ministry together. But then we also do some ministry things separately. It makes us healthy and it makes yes. us stronger. And, and I think that that teamwork is, is critical. So develop wow. yourself. And then compliment and praise your, your, your spouse. Um, take the time to develop yourself. You be strong. And then your wife or your husband, they will be strong because they'll be motivated by your great... And that, that self-respect. And let me ask you this. When you do these things, you do the work. You do the work, which you've talked about. Adjusting, uh, listening... Be considerate, expressing when you're having some difficulty that is uncomfortable, but yet doing it in a way that's not confrontational, but saying, here's how you made me feel, and how do we work through this? When you do the work, what's the end result? What's the payoff? What's the reward? A happy marriage. The, 30, 30, go the, on, 30 the, 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 the reward is um, accountability. Mm-hmm. The reward is joy and, and being an example to others. Yep. Um, the scripture says, let another man praise you and not your own. Mm -hmm. Countless couples have come up, up to us and says, uh, your marriage has inspired us. Wow. We were getting ready to give up and you just inspire us. And they pray for us and we pray mm -hmm. for them. To know that your marriage actually inspires other people. I mean that's kind of a, a powerful piece. That's I know you. Power. I know you yeah, and we D, see it. We get uh, it. Yeah. Right, right. To to inspire somebody to stay together. And one of the saddest moments is that when, when we're at a seminar and someone says, "I wish I had this seminar two years ago." Wow, wow. We've had somebody say about the book. I wish I had this book earlier. That right. that, that it's bittersweet, Doctor Charlie, right. it, because so, we compliment. So that's why we're not resting on our laurels. That's we're right. not ready until we turn. A million marriages like you. We join in. We, we yeah. want to turn. And, and also, T and I are very proactive. We want to reach the singles yes. Yes. or divorcees, yes. uh, people who have divorced or, or widowers or whatever, and reach them so that they can get as much knowledge as possible so they can learn from our mistakes. As T said so honestly, it is trial and error. But we're willing to share some of our trials and errors with you so that you can have good success. Alway, Dr. Alway and First Lady, Wonderful tea. Where can they reach you again if they want to bring you in for a marriage seminar? Mm -hmm. They or they or somebody really needs counseling. Mm -hmm. And what what, what they can you? reach us at Motivate America at Comcast.net. They can also call me directly at 202-297-1552. 202-297-1552. Uh, and they can also reach me in about a week on our new website, which is www.al-way.com. Okay. Uh, where can they? And T, uh, are y'all planning to um, seminars, seminars, and so forth? Uh, yep. Our transformation weekend is coming up. We do a transformation weekend for couples every year. And every so, February. Every February. So this February, we're gonna take the couples away, and it is intense. You you come two days two days and it is just but the where? most wonderful. and we'll make sure we're still because y'all went to Nima Colon one year we've we done Nima Colon Hyatt Eastern Shore Hyatt Eastern Shore we've, we've done, done the Hilton, Eastern so where are you Shore. going this year we're, right. we're actually we're, we just did a site visit but we're not ready to review so we did okay. and we skied last year uh -oh. yeah. Oh, yeah. oh yeah we went to Ski Liberty ski all right Liberty, so yes. want y'all to join them yes. we'll pass the information on you yeah we'll get the information and we're gonna try to get the jollies to come we want to be there we did one year what. Do you know the the weekend? We'll let you know. All right, then, then, look, they're working it out. <laughs> now, look, for us, we're going to have a marriage event. We're talking about it now, what we're going to do. We're thinking about doing a three-day event. Awesome. A uh, three-day event, but it's not just a marriage. It's called a weekend to change your life. And so it's Friday night, you bring your children. I will speak to your teens and your children. That's awesome. I will That's help awesome. them to get a positive mental attitude and mental perspective and to make wise choices. Saturday morning, we're going to do a marriage event. So maybe from 10 to 2, we'll do the marriage event that your couples, husband and wife, can spend time with us. Saturday night, I'm going to do my one-man show. All right. All right. Yeah, one -man That's going to be worth coming, uh, Jessica. And Sunday morning will be a worship experience 
that the whole family could join us. They'll come from a Saturday night home family, and then we worship together. What's the date, Willie? We know we're working on it. That's See, okay. Then we don't know. That's <laughs> well, gonna be in 2019. I just came up with that. We idea. need some drivers. We need some drivers. Yeah, yeah but she will put up dates. They will put up on our drivers. We need some drivers. <laughs> some <laughs> some <laughs> some <laughs> go to uh, jollymarriage.com/live. Get this two CD package. It will bless you. Two CDs. If you don't have the book. Make love, make money, make it last. Go to jollymarriage.com, get the free chapter, and then get two copies of the book, one for each of you. Awesome. Read it together, each chapter. Read it, there are points in the back of each chapter that you can learn together. We think about the couple, married 15 years, read the book together. At the end of the book, they closed the book together, their books together, and started crying. Because they said, we didn't know this about the other. And then there's a chapter mm -hmm. in the book for people who are not yet married mm -hmm. on how to choose the right one. And we know that the person you marry is going to be responsible for 90% of your misery or 90% of your joy. So choose well. We tell you how to choose with some tests to see if they are the real deal or an imposter. So, and Willie, if yes. I can just have 30 seconds. Yes. Uh, we can bring our uh, behavioral principles um, to your workplace or to your church. And do a, this is a full day assessment. It's, it's so day. much fun. And like you said, we do the large group. We break them down into small groups. And it will change your life. I highly recommend. And we just started last year. We're one of the few churches in D.C. that has a weekly couples master class. Every oh. Sunday from 930 to 1030, mm -hmm. we have poured into couples. And it has been phenomenal. Yes. Wow. And T and I, we teach that class. So you don't have to be a member of our church. 4821 Georgia Avenue. 48 Faith Assembly of Christ. Georgia Avenue Northwest. West. Yes. Faith Assembly. Come in on your way to your church, 930 to 5, uh, 930 to 1030. 930. Right, right. But our FAC couples class, you don't have to be a member. It's phenomenal. It's changing lives. It's changing Amen. Lives. Well, we're just excited. I want to thank Al yes. Yes. Our yes. Way. Yeah. He is phenomenal. Alfonso Way, but we yes. call him Al Way, Bishop to Al Way. Dr. Alway and his beautiful bride of going on 37 years. And I sang at their wedding 37 years ago. Yes. I was slim and trim, had a full head. <laughs> All right. But I sang and we had a great time. I'll never forget that day. And they are phenomenal people. I highly recommend it. We look to see you hopefully next week. Have a great Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Have Be an awesome. safe. Please travel safe and eat well. And remember to bless somebody else on uh, this weekend yes. by being a gift to somebody else. Amen? Amen. Amen. Or give it to somebody else. We out! Jolly, Jolly out! out. <laughs> <laughs>